Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, we're going to talk about the next experience menu feature that came out with Tokyo. You can kind of see right here behind me in my feature list, we have a description for enabling your admins to add custom menus with items that are most useful for them to complete their work. Now, I think them refers to users and not the admins. And let me show you why. Number one, if you've been using Tokyo, you might have noticed there's a new admin menu. And that's not what they're referring to. It's not that you can come in here and configure and add this menu. And unfortunately, I still haven't found a way to change the order of the workspaces menu or add anything to, or actually you can manage your favorites and you can't really do anything with these, but they're all kind of locked down is the point of what I was trying to share there. So if you go to your menu over here and you type in experience, which you can see right there, I have already done that, typed in experience, oops, there we go, well, anyway, um, there's a menu item for unified navigation menu. So if you click on that, you're gonna see uh, kind of what you see at the top there, all favorites, history, workspaces, admin, represented in this menu here of all favorites, history, workspaces, admin, except we have this new additional one called my menu, which you don't see at the top here. There is no my menu at the top. And so let's open that up. Well, first of all, actually, let me do one thing. Let's open up the admin menu. Notice I, it's in the admin center application, cannot be edited. It's a private application, right? So we can't change it. Let's take a look at the workspaces menu. Can't do nothing with it. Can't do anything with it. Um, same with the others. Why you don't have met at the others, you can't. But for my menu, the last one there in that list, we can add things. So let's say my Tokyo features that I'm always looking at and grabbing things. Let's do the release note pages. Let's copy link to that. And let's say I want that to show up here as one of the items in the drop down. I don't think it's showing up here at the top because there's nothing in the menu to actually show. So I'm gonna use this new button right here and we're gonna test this live. I did not prep for this. I haven't, I have no idea what's gonna happen. I'm gonna hit new. Um, we're gonna link to an application which is actually uh, yeah, my application. I don't want a module or, a, or kind of a header or whatever. Um, and, oh, this is interesting. So now I've got to pick an application. And uh, let's see here. Okay, so there's a list of all the applications. Okay, so my application is called Tokyo Features. So let's see if that's there. Look at that. There it is. All right, so I didn't need to copy that link. Now I can link to that. I'll click Submit. I won't change the order. Hit Submit. And now... Let's see if my My Menu actually shows up here at the top. So I've got it here, Menu's active. Oh, and I did want to point out two other things. You can specify to who to hide the menu from, I'm assuming if you have it visible to everybody. And then if you don't want it visible to anybody except certain roles, you can set who it's visible to. That's how I interpret those two. I don't want to mess around with permissions right now, but while I was talking, look what showed up there, everybody. My Menu is now at the top. And if I click on it, I can go to my Tokyo features and there's the menu item for my features. So that's interesting. It's going to the application and not a particular thing. Maybe that's what that module option was when I was adding that. So let's check that out. Let's add new and we'll change this from application to module. I don't think I have any modules in my Tokyo app. Let's just see here. T-A-T-O-K-Y-O. Nothing there. Oh, no, I do. My release up pages. That's actually what I wanted in the features. So I must have done that when I was creating them in the application studio or app engine studio, wherever I created them. Um, okay, so it's showing there. It's not linked to an application. It's linked to a module. And if I look up here, okay, there it is. So now there's my application with all my different pieces. And then there's my module, which is going to go straight to all my Tokyo features that are helping me make all these videos. So let's do one more thing together with this new feature. Let's go in and I use the one that was there out of the box called my menu. I'm gonna go ahead and inactivate this one live so you can see it disappear hopefully. And we're gonna create a new one. Let's just call this for fun. Oh wow, that was really fast. It's already disappeared. I didn't even re refresh the page and it's gone. But let's make a new one. We'll call this YouTube menu. And I'll hit submit. We'll clear that arrow out of there. Now I got a YouTube menu that has nothing in it, just like before. And now I'll go ahead and click new. And we'll keep it the application. And I'll go back to my Tokyo Features app, which is what I've been showing you all on YouTube. Hit submit. And let's see how long that takes to actually show up here since I didn't change the roles. That did not take long at all. 
So now you can see I've made my own menu, not my menu, not admin, not workspaces. And if I click on it, I can go straight to my Tokyo features and go straight to those particular parts of the Tokyo features app. Now, here's what I want you to think about with this feature is if you have users who don't need all the rest of that stuff, the favorites, the history, the work. I mean, maybe they do. Um, but do they need the all menu? Think about that. Do they need to see everything they have access to? Or do you want to just tailor a menu to exactly what they need to see to do their job? I'm open to it. I think it might be a good idea. Tell me what you think down below in the comments. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in customizing, configuring, tailoring the menu experience in their ServiceNow instance. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.